Jefferson, the NBA's number two scorer. Needs 39 today to regain the lead from Shaquille O'Neal. He's held it for much. Oh, but he got it right back. Let somebody else try one. Nope, stolen by the Sixers. Snow has Iverson on the wing. Two on two. Snow got it. First two. The problem for uh, Chuck Daly in starting Hardaway at the off guard is that he can't get the same energy. Rejected by Ratliff. Snow takes it the other way. Lynch for three. Points. It's <laughs> Lynch had a wide open three to hit the side of the backboard. Harpering was not ready for the Armstrong pass. And Snow leads the break. And McKee. Jack, who had 26 last night in the Lakers' loss. What Armstrong and the Magic want to do is make the shots come over the top. Wasn't sure how they were going to fare. Harpering lost it. Snow with the steal. Three on one break. Snow gives it up, and McKee is fouled. Fact that they can force opponents into mistakes and then get some offense off of it with this team out on the floor. If you can keep them in front of you, they're going to struggle to beat you individually. In fact, just coming over and talking to us before the game, and as we made our uh, way around the streets of foot, long rebound. McKee with the outlet to Snow. Iverson calling for it. Snow gave it to Geiger and got the layup with the elbow. You take a look at uh, Snow. He, you would not have known that he had these abilities when he was playing with Seattle as a 76er. He is taking control of the team, making it his first five. Hardaway's pass deflected by Snow. Geiger with a lead pass for Iverson. Good. Sixers: Ratliff, Geiger, Iverson, Snow, and Lynch. Help! 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 Iverson. First. He says to Ronnie Nunn, "Did you see that?" Eric, uh, whose older brother Percy was a Michigan State All-American linebacker. And, and this is typical of the Eastern Conference, where one team will have a lead. We saw it earlier today. Theo Ratliff open. Snow to the basket. And score. Iverson working on Armstrong. Gave it up to Snow. Snow once again works his way to the basket. In his case again. But look, there's no one near Eric Snow when he receives the ball. By the time he gets it, Harpering slapped away. Here's Snow. Dish to Iverson. Got it. And uh, they outscored uh, the 76ers, but here they've only scored five. Iverson got six of seven losing streak. Snow finds McKee from Philadelphia in some five or six years. Uh, this is payback for the game that they gave away. Snow. I mean, you don't know the answer. You always look up. <laughs> <laughs> and you always look to the heavens. Ten assists. Larry Brown knew it. Patience. That's what Larry Brown wants from the 76ers at the offensive end. Limit the possessions and then make good on your opportunities. Matumba really Snow was limping. They just ignored those guys at the defensive end. Bucks, meanwhile, 8 of 13 from the field. Well, we know that it's a jump shooting team, and they can miss shots. And once they begin to miss injuries uh, for Philadelphia, just keep running, get going, wear them down. Eric Snow gets past Allen. Oh, Snow. How wide open he was. He had no one but Iverson who had already given up on the play. Snow has Kathy on him. He wants to take him off the dribble. Quick oh. move from Snow, and he puts it in. And Brown is asking Iverson to drive. Good ball movement. Snow wide open. It's good. Eric Snow puts Billy up by one. Pass. He got tight. You know, he started to drive it and he got tight. Six on the clock for Eric Snow. Snow puts it up. Puts it in. Eric Snow. Sixers by three. Patiently comes up with the steal. Well, you know, the the story of Eric Snow is an improbable hero, and that is the story of the Sixers season, and it has been a huge fourth quarter for Eric Snow. <laughs> Snow playing with a stress fracture in his foot suffered in game four, despite having the ankle injury already to the same foot. Ma non basta Larry Brown eh, che ha sempre qualcosa da dire sulla difesa della sua squadra. Keith Van Horn eh, attacca, schiaccia per terra la palla per il... Van Horn, se non a essere il perfetto bersaglio 
senza ogni tipo di polemica assolutamente adatto per svolgere quel primo piano George Carl mentre c'è stato un tecnico per tre secondi difensivo ai danni dei Milwaukee per Allen Iverson zona per i Milwaukee Bucks blocco di contenimento di Van Horn che riceve da Snow bel passo di incrocio ecco, peccato che Coleman non sempre venga all'allenamento chi è che può parlare a Rando? però resta sempre d'attualità un compagno di squadra che possa dire cose è sempre un maestro di questo gioco nelle piccole cose soprattutto a rimbalzo scarico di Iverson per Snow che rimette in ritmo il suo numero 3 un po' penatore mentre Red sbaglia l'appoggio rimbalzo di Skinner apertura per Snow Iverson in campo aperto e ecco, si comincia a vedere 4 punti con 5,50 da giocare nel secondo quarto e d'altronde se non difendono non hanno poi un attacco che pura aggressività di grande intensità dal punto di vista emotivo però è evidente che stanno aspettando che paghi che sono andati sotto nel primo quarto con questa partita in 12 delle ultime 13 il bilancio delle ultime 12 è tre vinti segue tipico di chi sta pensando cosa deve fare e poi torna a essere quello che è stato recentemente qua dal 4 dicembre 2001 non c'è una cosa che non faccia per la sua squadra giocatore di una non quelli così alla Santa no, questo è il tirino non proprio di quelli che si vedono in, in agosto e finaliato da Tony Kukoc campo aperto preso da Iverson discretamente poi cerca Van Horn che riceve un passaggio di ritorno tecnicamente il più pagato è il più forte è il più nobile dei giocatori in campo per i miei luoghi difesa da parte di Tony Kukoc vedete che Kukoc riesce nell'impresa di non in the league as a team a little under 42% only Boston has a worse field goal percentage than Golden State good luck Kembe Matumbo catching the ball in the low post. Nice entry pass by Eric Snow. The screen and then the little, little spin to the hoop. It's heavy. Here are the Sixers down three. It's Iverson. Thought he was going to be fouled, I think, by Dampier. Does this at Arizona. He is in for Larry Hughes. Arenas not available to play the last time the team's hooked up in early December. Allen Iverson. Snow off the Hughes miss. Has a streaking heartbreak. Got it. Largest lead for Golden State has been seven as Matumbo hammers home the hook. Get off the ball on the personal foul coming up. The entry pass to Matumbo. See, that's a nice entry pass. Waited for him to get ready so he could come back to his move, which is... Again, the Warriors zoning up. Good look, Snow for Matumbo. And again, the hook in rhythm. See, that's a... Corey Blunt. A half. Matumbo, again the hook comes in rhythm. A tiny Allen Iverson to work, leaves for Snow, one more for Harpring. Yes! It's up one. Under four minutes to play here in the third. Iverson for three, got it! Richardson stripped. Sura tried to get it back, it's Iverson, got it! Cummings trying to get Foyle to bite. Eric Snow with four to shoot. Got it! A two-point game. Exactly five minutes gone here in the final quarter. Iverson eludes Richardson and drops it again! Well, time now for our singular wireless call of the game. E. Snow going to Allen Iverson. Bam! Takes a jump shot. Takes a jump shot. The grill of Richardson. For the Warriors. Snow tracking Richardson, runs headlong into him. Had him all the way, setting him up. Richardson putting the ball out. Of all time, contributions were 2-8. And of course, contributions are tax deductible. Sora miss. Sora misses the bunny. Snow has a leaking Iverson. In. And he puts the other two officials, Tony Brothers and Leon Wood, who actually played for Philadelphia. Wood, one of two NBA refs who played in the NBA. Nice give and go. Eric Snow on the finish. Iverson. Iverson getting up in the air with nowhere to go. Van Horn's their leading three-point shooter. Sprewell, nice speed again. Harrington can't convert. Sprewell should have about five assists. Houston missed an easy one, and Harrington did as well. Oh, nice pass from Iverson. Right now, the Knicks are living by, but that could change. Anderson, oh, excellent defense from Aaron McKee. 
He can't play better defense than that. First on denying him the post is Snow. McKee, Jackson, that time held it long enough to find Houston off the glass. Billy has nine turnovers. Eric Snow counted and a foul. Shots attempted, but no fouls called. No turnover for Billy. Three gives it back. Another turnover for New York. The key to the heat. They have to keep Iverson out of the paint. Van Horn has been aggressive going for a shot. Shot clock down to four. That's another three. Brown loves because he thinks pass first, thinks defense first. It's the first. He is probably never going to make an all-star team, but he's a guy that just makes you a winning team. And Sprewell scoring big. Here they go. Executed beautifully. Under four to play. Iverson oh, erratic all evening with his shooting. Flips it up and in. Allen Iverson with 27. So we focus. A little too much let him play. And two clutch free throws from Eric Snow. He's got Iverson time now. He could be erratic all game, but now he'll come up with something. Eric Snow left open. He was upset, but Snow comes right back. The underrated Eric Snow with a big bucket. Nick for five tonight. He must protect the ball here. Again. See the team come back, though, after oh, 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 kind of a stinker, and you come back and run it um, Sounds with four inches on Margaret. Oh, Gives it up. Four to shoot for Snow. Got it done. It's reduced from the free throw line. Sixer lead at four. Under two minutes to go in the first quarter. It's matching her largest lead. Key to the punching Snow. Delivers two. The ball right here. The cut coming down through there. That right knee is up. Good camera work. Bam. Catching Kirk Thomas. Bend it back just a little bit. Nine straight double doubles. This is probably the best. Snow with two to shoot. Got it off and in. Fire hustle Snow. Hardaway and Marbury tracking him. Forks is now tightening things up defensively. Salmon for three. Southwest long distance shot. Kick out pass. John Selman rises up. Bam. Long rebounds. Eric Snow comes up with it. Take it to the hoop. Good strong move by Eric Snow. That was a, a, a good trade as far as picking up Benny Hardaway in that trade. They step on Salmon again. Rick Stafford getting up. Work over from both of the coaches. Somebody doesn't like the call, somebody does like it. Snow has Marbury on the flyby. Wide open by Thomas's ninth. Eric Snow gave it up. Got it! Time to go in this one. Can they come back from a second half deficit to win for the fourth straight time? Leads to this. You're forcing other guys to take shots, and Eric Snow does an outstanding job. 80% or higher. Corver hits the three. Pops right back there, does an outstanding job. Everybody else does a. Can they get it to Corver? It's Thomas, not a three point shooter. There it is. Yes! Eric actually took the time to explain how it happened, and then Chris Ward said, You got to get this done. Richie. Stefan Marbury. Billy will run a lot of time off the clock without Iverson in there. Snow deals it to Hartford for a little jumper in the lane. He stuffed it home on the weak side. Well, got it to go, so this is not I can make it or I'm gonna shoot up an air ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last five games, he's shooting at 41%, and there's Eric Snow. It's time, and uh, Dikembe Mutombo took exception to that. And Iverson had to explain himself. Now he's back in the game for the first time tonight, and Iverson 
Knocks down a 15-footer. Extremely well, but late. 64% in his last five games. Iverson over Kidd. Scalabrini in the game. Here's Coleman. Shot over Scalabrini, and he's got Los Angeles to take on the Lakers. Boy, you're going to need him when it West Coast swing. I mean, he had a lot of good-sized teams out there. And he kicked it out, and he got another double over here. I mean, the defense is getting much better for the Nets now. Iverson's three off the end. It's on. Iverson missed the shot. And Eric Snow running the break. So Iverson pull up jump. Two in a row for the answer. A touch. Back up to 17. Van Horn cutting, and Matumbo blocked the shot. Eric Snow three on two. Humphrey and Kenyon Martin swallowed it up, but it's going to be goaltending. Nine percent. So I mean, there are times when it presents itself. The kid does a lot of great things, and there is he's giving the Nets the business. Iverson drills a little shot is no good. And Matumbo's there to clean it up. Iverson behind the arc. Yes, and especially coming back in transition, you got to find uh, a good hustle defensive play. Everybody know he can score. So that's the only criticism I was sometimes get a little too caught up on uh, uh, scoring. Here's Snow wants to go on Kittles. Humphrey got the jumper to go. The talk, and now they're walking the walk on the Nets. Horn has four points tonight, 24 minutes of play, four rebounds. Take a look at Larry Bird. Iverson through traffic for two. White piston rebound by Hill. Outlet caught by Snow. Here comes Philadelphia. Snow to Hill. Foul. Right here, Snow does a good job of pushing the ball in transition. Theo clears out the two big guys, and then the trailer, Tyrone Hill, gets there. He easy. Beam has made a change. Indiana is 7 of 10 from the field. Crozier 2 of 2. Indiana plus four in rebounding, and Eric Snow. Tempting in his shots when you put him in the point guard position. His role totally changes because he's been an offensive force with them in the last few games. But a guy that, uh, with that kind of experience in the league, feeds off of his coach an awful lot. And what he defense, and one of the great on-ball defenders, in fact, in the NBA. Well, he's appreciate that kind of player. You may recall his brother Percy played NFL football at Kansas. They've got to look for the shot. Here comes Iverson up court to Snow. Cross court to Lynch, wide open. Can't pin it. It's Lynch in Philadelphia looking for a lead on a three-on-one. Snow to Russell. Behind the line, he's got two threes tonight, 12 for the game. And Allen cuff and a banged up right shooting shoulder. Well, somebody forgot to tell him that, though, didn't they? <laughs> and then screened by Smith. Mullen tries to pry his way inside. Picked up by Snow. They've got numbers three on two. Into him. For, for a lot of easy transition baskets. Well, and, and there's nothing in the world like good pressure defense, getting out and running, and that's an advantage, particularly if you play that kind of game on your home court. Time out. Back to you. Approaching two minutes to play here in the third quarter. A free by Iverson. Harder on Indiana offense. They can't get the ball to the post players that they have an advantage on. What a pass by Snow! Ending up on Rose. Well, we saw him working on this very play. He just turns and spins and throws the back door. It's a, it's a pre-called play by Larry Brown. And they're just going to take advantage of Smith, whose feet were stuck to the floor on that play. Geiger and Kukoc cut. I haven't seen Dale Davis in this half. A very underrated aspect of the game is the post speed. Sam Perkins in for Indiana. Tony Kukoc. McKee almost got the tap. Here comes Snow shifting gears the other way into a thicket of Indiana defenders. Kukoc with a huge three-point shot. Tonight, two of three. This year, 71%. Snow. Our test trying to go up against Harpering, who also is uh, one of the wide players in the league, and result in the fast breaks, and then Allen Iverson at the end of it. Snow in trouble. Here's Corey Blount, who digs his way in. 
It is so bunched up in the Eastern Conference. The uh, team's now also thinking about possible tiebreakers. Well, that's all. Oh, one, of the, one, of, one of the hardest things out to teach is on shot fakes to stay on the floor. That time, uh, Holman and also Aaron McKee. Corey Blunt in the starting position, but one another down. That would be some main event. And there'll be a jump ball. Philadelphia does a good job, and he thought he was going to get that shot blocked. And kind Philadelphia of has to stay out of foul trouble, especially up front. Tinsley, Miller the tip, but could not get it to our test. Pacers who have uh, been putting up a number of turnovers of late. 20, uh, 31 and 29 this season. Last year at this time. The against the strength of the Pacers. The Tumble does a great job of using his body to get position. And he got, he got. Derek McKee wearing number nine. He was released by Indiana. And picked up by Larry Brown who wants Coaston pounding snow. Behind the back goes to Matumbo. A little surprised to get the uh, pass. There's our test banging it away. Seven seconds to shoot. And snow from deep. Matt Harpering when we return to Philadelphia. The final game of the season in Indiana. Snow wrapped up by our test. Gets around on our test. Where's your help? Hey, hey, see that? See the ball. Iverson going up and over Tinsley. Not listening to Isaiah, actually just telling him don't come over the line. Hard drive by Snow. Boards for Blunt. Along with nine points. Snow stops and pops. And he has a season high of 15 rebounds. And he's looking to threaten that tonight. Missing two games because of the suspension. The bout with Kobe Bryant. Iverson fade away and hits. Iverson nothing. Jones is open. Fender climbs right into the hands of Snow. Yeah. There's an all-star here. Pacers have 25. Started across the front. Philadelphia 76ers in their home line. Sixers across the front. Turnover on the first possession. Out on the break, Allen Iverson angling, lays it up and through. Two rebounds. Van Horn finds Thomas. Thomas out of New Mexico gives it to Snow. Not easily been a foul. Him at the free throw line, but makes the tough left-handed shot. Van Horn from out. Has not played in 10 games. Last time he played in that game. Eric Snow by one, 32-31. Coleman. Ends it ahead. This is Snow. Snow. Perfect position. Got it. You and the guys that are comfortable with he's with that can execute the last second play. Eric Snow comes open. Two dribbles. Three pointer. Another one in the quarter. You can count on because throughout his career, although he is extremely gifted, he has not been able to uh, that he has reached 20 or more points. Over 235 left in the second quarter. Huge night for Powell so far. Seems like it's going in reverse. Allen Iverson got it. Neither team has yet to score. Allen Iverson puts it on the deck. Baseline jumper, Eric Snow. Memphis has had some opportunities, Hawk. Huh? They've had some excellent looks at the basket. Brown, here's Snow doing his damage. Looks like he's going to the middle. Fades away. There's ovation here at the first Union Center. They love him in Philly. Derek Holman over Lorenzen. Raised up and drained. One of three from downtown. Van Horn wide open lane. And nine. Whenever the Grizzlies need a basket, it's Jason Williams. It was Jason in the second quarter. Snow putting. Devin on the shot clock. Kicks it out. Snow trying to get by Knight. Knight swipes at the ball. On the deck. Gives it to Gasol. Turnover. Snow made his move quick. McKee looks for Snow. Snow up it gets around Watson and one on one with Keith Van Horn. Made a difficult shot of the box. Shot for Snow. Gets both in the paint. Iverson has 34. Here's Snow. Coleman got it. At the first Union Center. 
Derek Coleman's biggest shot of the night. Eric Snow penetrates. Defensive player Lorenzen Wright playing in the paint. Lost Derek Coleman. Pops up for the elbow jumper. Puts the 70 seconds up. Snow now with a triple double. And Eric hearing it from the crowd. SAP. What we probably should make. And there's Iverson met by Wesley. Thomas, yes. kick and roll score. Larry said his team not aggressive enough defending on the pick and roll. Here's Snow. And He's so strong, he gets through there. The, the defensive bodies, he's able to take the bang, but he can't get up quite as high. He's spewing oh. venom on, on the air. Uh, taking shots at people that are friends of his, people that are concerned and care about him. <laughs> he did take some uh, uncontested shots. Snow with the steal. Iverson on a breakaway. Wesley gets the pick from Brown. And was stopped by Van Horn. Good play by Van Horn. And Snow is on it. Three on two. Here's Thomas. And he finishes. Fourth, they had just eight fast break points. When they get out running, they have easier shots, higher percentage shots, and they put the pressure on the transition defense of the New Orleans Hornets. You go back one before that, it's Iverson by himself out in front, finally getting himself a basket after an 0 for 5 start. Dover for 3. And Iverson looking to run. Hornets get back. Iverson dumps it to Snow and no one. Oh, beautiful pass! David Wesley getting set. Checkers, I believe, best free throw shooters, 86 for free throws. It was almost like he didn't want to get fouled, and he didn't have to get to the foul line because he knew he was a shooter. Well, he turned himself into a complete foul. He had been in foul trouble the two previous games. 37. Alan Iverson getting a rest from McKee and Snow now in the backcourt. Here's McKee, no pushing it. McKee moving on the wing. And Snow will regroup. Here's McKee wide open for three. Brother shots. Long jumps well. Here's Van Horn. Yeah. Iverson. Snow. Yes, yeah. but all. Right from the start. Just 7 of 25. Eric Coleman was. Here's Davis from way downtown. Alexander. Drip to the ball. Final seconds. The Philadelphia 76ers have taken a three games to one lead.